hello hello and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I'm very excited to be playing this game again. Um, it's been a, a couple of weeks since I played because I had gotten sick. You might still be able to hear it in my voice so if I drink water more often it's because I'm my throat is still you know messed up but basically last time we played like through the very beginnings of the game like just like, the first couple of hours we have a few companions with us which is very exciting i'm very excited i really want to try to maybe experience all of their stories if that's possible i don't know if you can do that in one playthrough or if you have to like go back and kind of do multiple playthroughs in order to get all of their stories but we're gonna try we're just i'm gonna have fun i don't know what to expect i've never you know obviously never played this before so yeah i think there's there is something going on over here and i know that that's where i need to go however <laughs> i just before we go i want to uh check on our companions and just talk to them for a second see you know what they have to say speak Uh, do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. <sighs> All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. She knows a lot. She she did say, like, um, she knows the cure. So we have to find, like, her people. There are species that I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what they're called. But she says that they, they know the cure. We'll see if that's actually true, because that seems too good to be true. You know what I mean? I feel like there has to be something way more complicated that is going to actually be the the cure. If there even is a cure, I don't even know. Um, that's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. She approved of that. My kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Hmm. Yeah, how, how long do they have? You're worried we haven't changed? This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. It's true. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave. I don't think I should tell her I have these urges. I want to kill. I want blood. Like, no. So, basically, if you don't remember from the last time, our character, her name is Willow. She is a paladin who, you know, has always just kind of wanted to do good and to bring peace and kindness and love to people. But she's also the dark urge. So, she also has that in the back of her head. Kind of like a, like a second parasite in the back of her mind that is like, kill everybody. <laughs> So that's what we're doing. We're we're resisting the dark urge. All right, let's talk to Shadowheart too. Something the matter. Something the matter. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? <laughs> that's such like a that's like a an interesting way to be like so do, do you think i'm doing okay am, am i am i doing the right thing i must admit you've been a surprise and not an unpleasant one kindred spirits are few and far between for me besides you saved my life aboard the nautiloid how can i do anything but sing your praises okay and astarian need something <laughs> I'm sorry I'm I'm literally I'm sorry I'm so basic Oh I can't even talk to him so just need something 
And then just turn around and walk away. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't waste a step. Oh, yeah, I forgot my... Open the bloody oh. gate! No the voice. Gets in. Zevlor's orders. That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! So goblins are evil? Ooh. By the nine hells, open the gate! <clears throat> I don't know anything about like the races of people in this game. I don't know who's like good, who's not, uh, who's an enemy, I don't know. I'm just gonna treat, try to save as many people as possible. Hello. <laughs> oh, the battles. I'm so bad at the like. Get to the high ground. Raiders, guards are bastards. For the absolute. I'm gonna hope that as time goes on, I'll get better at this. But the battles aren't my main priority. It's the story. So I'm guessing I need to go after the people in red, right? Like the red. The people with the red lines are the ones that we have to kill, I suppose. All right. Uh, not enough movement. Oh, start again, please. You can't. Why can't you move anywhere? The starian made a successful save. What does that mean? Okay. I, can't even catch my breath. I still don't really like Ma Willow's voice, but whatever. Oh, I, I can. I. All oh, right. I have a bow and arrow. I'd like to be an archer. Uh, should I move? Should I maybe go here? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, don't die, Astarian, please. Thy sickle and sword, strike them oh. down. Shadowheart and Lazel. Okay. Lazel is, you know, the best fighter among them, obviously. So I kind of want... I need to get her... Why, why are they so slow? Grease? Not enough movement. Difficult terrain? What? Wind healing... Uh, I can't get close enough because I can't move. She can use magic though. Can I have her use magic on this guy? Cool. See, like, look how she can only move 2.7 meters. That's it? That's all she can move. Why? Is there like... Oh, there's grease all over the floor. So that's why they can't move. Or they move really slowly. I kind of like zooming in.
Oh, there's a guy up there. Okay, starring. See, now he can move more, I guess. Uh, I'll bring him over here. Uh, me? Can she use her arrow? Get these. Oh, come on, girl! Please. You missed. Like, she can work on the guys who are up above. The snipers, so to speak. Return Shadow Heart. Can she get out of the grease? Okay, she's out now. She can't really move, so. I can have her do this again. Victory awaits. Okay. Lizelle, I can bring her this way. See, like, I feel like I sp I'm spending so much time just trying to get them close. <laughs> you know? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I don't know. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Reckless war cry. Oh no, Shadowheart's poisoned. What do I do? How do I help her? Willow and Astarian. Respawn. Huh. What else does he have? Revive a companion. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um. Go over there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with you. Still on my feet. That's Lazelle. I'm like, who's that? That's Lazelle. <laughs> Got a heart. Oh, okay. That that was helpful. Alright, can I like heal her? Does she have healing? She does. Cure wound. Do this one. Do it on yourself. Is she still poisoned? How do I get rid of that? Maybe I'll just kind of have her hang back a little bit. Hang back. You're poisoned. Please hang back. Okay. Inside, all of you, more may follow. I did nothing. <laughs> I killed one of them, I think. Only one. Damn, that's blood. Is she still poisoned? You gone. Go ahead. Go on in. Go in. What do I do? Hello? Hello? There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! Hmm. <sighs> Aladdin. Do I wanna every time- Do I wanna choose the paladin option every time it comes up? I don't know. Should I? Uh, 
could cough off my payment anytime now. Yeah, that's not something she would do. I like this one. White, one fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see yes. the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. Th there's a lot of, you know, hostility, animosity between the different races of people here. Like, it just it feels like everybody hates everybody. <laughs> uh, melee attack? No, I'm not attacking. Uh, no, I'm not doing that either. I'm going to try persuasion. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. See if I actually do. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank God. I, I know how to quick save now, so I should start doing that. <laughs> You're right. Out of heart of proofs. Much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Gale approves. Okay. Gale's not here. Did I talk to Shadowheart? This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. Yeah, I don't really feel comfortable but here either. Let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. Yeah, you were poisoned, girl. Okay. I wanna I like to talk to them. I wanna know what they have to say to me. Well, this seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. Uh, and uh, Lazel. Every Gith Yankee has held a sword by age six and claims their first kill by age ten. Okay. Yet these tieflings claim barely a single warrior among them. It's a wonder they've survived even this long. Okay, girl. <laughs> girl. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your insight. Let's talk to this guy. I should speak up. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Willow. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Why? Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Hmm. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. The, the druids, they're the the animal people, right? I'm sorry, I, I can't really remember who's who. But like, they're the ones they could communicate with animals, talk to, uh, talk to animals, become animals. That's that's them, right? I don't even know. Uh, this ritual is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though, I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Hmm. I want to try to help. I'll do what I can. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. I'm sorry, Astarian. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Basically, Astarian and Lazel disapproved. Disapproved, disapproved of that. <laughs> of what I did. 
<laughs> but like, I feel like that's in her character. She would want to help people. And like, unfortunately, Astarian does not. As much as I, you know, like him. Because I'm basic, but... <laughs> What's happening? Saving? They're all fighting. Can we talk to this dude? Aaron? Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. What? What's this ritual? Did they mention it and I just wasn't paying attention? It's very possible. I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. Nettie. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. So you're really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Can I see? Ooh. Can Oh. I can get more clothes. I can get cuter clothes. Ooh. But like, is this worth? Why are these glowing? Is it because it's better than what I have? Arrow of Ilmater. I do want to get better clothes. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm shopping. Looking for some nice clothes. <laughs> oh, that's just what I do. What is this? Oh, I can buy dyes. Maybe. Can I like maybe get one? Okay. Oh, I bought it. Apparently. Where's my money? How much money do I have? <laughs> I'm just like, la -di -da, I'm going to just buy stuff. Excuse me. Um, can I s can I sell these things? How do I? S I guess I could trade. What did I just do? <laughs> what did I trade for? <laughs> Heavy armor. I want something that's cute. This looks kind of good. Gain a plus one bonus. Disadvantage and stealth. Huh. Uh, I think I'm good for now. Sylvanas, guide your path. I want to find some cute clothes. Traitor attitude. Be careful near a traitor's watchful eye. Your attitude towards you affects the price of their stock. Huh. Interesting. Uh. Not what I said. Can you stop shouting? Not what yeah. I said. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. 
Or yell louder. That's fine too. Uh. I'm going to do, I think, the paladin one. Where the weak have need, the strong have a duty. Stay. I was... I was kind of thinking, this is random, but I was kind of thinking, like, since it's the beginning, she, Willow, is still very much, like, deep in her paladin roots, but I'm wondering if, as the time goes on, if we should kind of back away from it a little bit, like, not right now, like, right now she's still pretty deep in her beliefs, but I, I was thinking, possibly, that as she goes on, as she adventures and meets all these people and develops these relationships with these people that she kind of just you know takes a step back from it like it it's not at the forefront of her mind anymore as it is at the beginning so that's like that's what I was thinking of doing in the future I'm gonna keep her doing this now but in the future just a a little idea <laughs> just like I was saying I don't want all these lives on my conscience we need to stay Sir. Fine. We'll oh. stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. Oh, okay. This thing. I'd die if I met the Roican. We should have left by now. Damnation. <laughs> Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You're doing the right thing. The tieflings need help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Hold on. Why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Who? Yes, that Laroican. Who? The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Aldurian. Those raised in Baldur's Gate know the city well, for better or worse. So we're from there, I guess. Is this Laroican of Ramazith's Tower? <laughs> I'm sorry. His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. Will I? May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Can I pet? Oh, you could, if I had chosen Druid at the beginning, would I have been able to talk to them? Can I, can I pet? He's tiny. Can I pet? Moo. Try to discern why. The ox makes you uneasy. Try to discern why. Minus one intelligence because I'm stupid. I'm going to quick save it really quick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. Critical success. Never mind. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Is it a person? Moo. Moo. <laughs> yeah, it's a person. It's mooing. Did you hear it? It's like moo. Oh, is there any way I could like try to talk to it? No, I guess not. What are you doing? Hey, small child. What are you doing? Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Probably the latter. <laughs> small child, are you doing something you're not supposed to be doing? Turn around, see what he's looking at. Nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. <laughs> Did we just get conned? What's over here? 
Living crate. Can I go in there? Oh, I can. There's nothing in there. I can't steal their stuff. Ooh, thanks. I'll take that. That seems like a really roundabout way to go. Look at look at all of them. They're all going this way. Just go around. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Did I accidentally Something talk to Shadowheart? Right? Sorry, Shadowheart. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to talk to you. Look at these kids. Look at these kids. These rotten kids. I'm just kidding. Oh, honey. Hi. Aww. I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. So what's your side of the business? I'm sorry, I can't take you seriously. Look at your face. <laughs> uh... Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Or not. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. I don't trust you. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. What is this, my precious? Precious. Let's do mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. See if we could do it. <laughs> it's gonna be hard though. Oh, did I do it? I did it. <laughs> Yay. Weeping, bleeding hells. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But hmm. since you're already holding the thing, Call it. Heads or tails? Tails. Tails it is! Huh? See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. Or are you just messing with me? I came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? You're just... You're you're playing me, aren't you? You're like, Oh, he has tails. If I had said heads, he would have said, Oh, it's heads. Uh, hold on. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails. We got tails! There. Happy? No. <laughs> hmm. Here, take your ring back. I want to see your wares. You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Say failed perception. What does that mean? Huh. He has rings. He has a cookie. <laughs> what is that? Pig's head? Ugh. Gross. Spicy shrimp soup. Fish. Forget. Horse horseradish. Oh, I'm going to take the cinnamon roll. Can I have that? Can can I have the cinnamon roll, please? Gimme. Give Gimme. Give okay, he wants... Something. Give him something small. A skull. Oh, why do I have a skull in my pocket? Um... Huh. Next. So it has to be worth four. Here, take a glass chalice. Thanks. I wanted your cinnamon roll. <laughs> you bought some. What did he say? You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. What are you doing? I'm sorry, listen. I, I have a soft spot for children. But this kid's faking. <laughs> uh, observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. I'm sure they are. There's no way they're, she's not faking. Yes. You notice she's trembling. The Maybe she is crying. Down her cheeks are indeed real. Lunge at her? G come on. Listen, I'm not a monster. I'm not going to lunge at a child. 
Relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. So, like, he does the selling and she pickpockets. Badly. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Astarian and Lazel disapprove of me again. <laughs> I'm sorry. As much as, as much as I want... As I want to have the storyline with Astarian, I don't know if it's going to happen. What's going on over here? I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Your butt's falling out. Please, that's it is forbidden. It is forbidden. Why? Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> okay. What are you guys doing? What do you mean? They have your daughter? Can I talk to her? We need to get Arabella out. Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Sounds like she made the fatal mistake of getting caught. We shouldn't get involved. I'm gonna get involved. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shadowheart. I'm, I'm gonna get involved. <laughs> Hello? Listen, I want to protect the children. I, I, it's okay. <laughs> um, let's see. She's just a child. Hmm. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They Sorry, won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. <laughs> the Starian can't stand me at the moment. <laughs> He's like, I can't stand anything that you're doing right now. Can we talk to these people? <sighs> Calm down, bro. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You get back. Um, I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Korga? But it's, it's spelled Kaga. Okay. Alright. So these people, they like worship trees, right? Am I right? Hello! I don't know you. you. Were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close. Yeah. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. <laughs> There's no overstating my disinterest. I have no time for your question. <laughs> I kind of want to say that, but also I kind of want to know what he wants to ask. <laughs> I like, I like the sassy. I like the sass. Lord. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. Are you making them a dating profile? But remember nothing useful about goblin social order or behavior. I keep getting safe fail. Um, an exact description, I guess. Goblins were of a rare gem colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver? Dragon. Variety? What are you talking about? 
Dragon? There wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Dragon? Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I don't think so. I was kind of concentrating on not dying. Well, this does complicate things. I don't like him. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The oh. scandal. Oh, never you mind. I'm on I don't want to talk to him anymore. As we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I don't like him. Ugh. What are they doing? Giving power to a statue? What is this? Hickey. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I right now? Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Stop it. Raw fish. Uh, animal handling. Should I try? <laughs> I could try. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh! I think someone just fell. Oh, okay. Thanks. I just took the elevator without them all. <laughs> like, see ya. Squirrel. Squirrel. I want to talk to the squirrel. This squirrel might be the single most adorable creature you can recall in all your stunted memory. <laughs> it would be ever so twee if it were climbing a tree. Look at her face. Look at her face. You stare at the body before you. You have no idea what just happened. <laughs> what the heck did I just do? No! <laughs> what the heck was that? No. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to. Why did I do that? That was horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm genuinely really upset. I didn't want to do that. Take fright. A swirling bile cauldron of your brain is cooking up a poison stew. I should have known from how she... She just... Did, did you see her face? How it twisted into something disgustingly vile? And then she killed the poor little squirrel. What the heck was that? Oh my god. Why is this my picture? <laughs> that looks nothing like me. <laughs> Why did I? I didn't want to follow the dark urge. Why did I just do that? I'm sorry. Why would I put it inside of my, my pocket? Oh, I'm a horrible person. But nobody saw what I just did. I'm evil. Nasty, horrible. Oh, I'm at the. I'm back at the beginning. This is where we came in. Weren't we just? We were just here. How do I go to what's her face? Let's see what this does. No, I'm so upset. I don't know what just happened. No, I wanted to go down. No, I wanted to go down. Is she going down? Where is she going? 
If Starian wants to talk to me, he's probably like, what's upset with me, but like... But I have to watch her go all the way back. Why did I just kick a squirrel? Why did I do that? What was that? Genuinely, I'm so upset. I don't even I don't even want to talk about it. That was so upsetting. She has to run all the way back around because I clicked the stupid lever before she was on the stupid elevator like an idiot. Rabbit, pained, sick. Help me. You're spasming and twitching. Oh, poor thing. Help me! I just killed a squirrel. I have almost no memory from before I woke on the Nautilide. Hmm. Well, so far, my tadpole and I have been nothing but best friends. Something else is happening to you, isn't it? Yes. You have. Bouts of swooning and swaying, and your jaw is grinding like you're poised to chew off your tongue. Help me. Mm. <laughs> Do take care of yourself. I can't help but feel like that's not very genuine. I, I wanted to talk more. Oh, I can't believe I just killed a squirrel. Genuinely, I can't. Why did I kill a squirrel? I just kicked it into oblivion. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I'm sorry. Oh, that's the little girl. Release her. She stole the idol of Sylvanus. She must pay the price. We will imprison the thief under guard of my servant. When we cast out the rest, she may join them. Let the devil be an example. We will tolerate outlanders no longer. Okay. The grove will be made safe. The circle will be closed. Imagine you can turn into an animal and you end up turning into a rat. Just imagine that. Why would you want to be a rat? Oh. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? He's a child. I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Ugh. A death viper. You have not bad poison before. Have I? A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. I'm not over the squirrel. Okay. Thief. Poison. What is this girl's actual crime? Girl. You mean parasite. She Calm eats down. our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. She's Rath, a child. Lock her up. No. She remains here until the rite is complete. No. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. No. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Control your face, Willow. Control it. Um, Nature, persu Paladin, Persuasion. Uh, detect thoughts. Read her mind. Why am I able to do that? I shouldn't be able to do that. Um, I am versed in the ways of justice. Make your case, and I will pass judgment. Oh, oh no. Oh, I did. I got it. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. Good, because let her go. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return, 
These devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that Aww. might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection right is complete. Leave her a little go. What do you have to say for yourself, child? I... I was scared. They said when the right was over, we'd have to leave. Aww. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I... I I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good, I swear. Well, Paladin, what say you? <laughs> Return the girl to her family. She's made amends, and you have your relic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Huh? It hurts. What hurts? Thank you, Korga. Master Holson. Halson is here. Keep Shadow his name heart? off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Shadow Heart, are you okay? It. Gale approves. Okay, Gale, you're not even here. Shadow Heart, are you okay? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Yes. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. I don't think it's connected to the tadpoles. I believe her. Fine. What's on your mind? Why do I keep wanting to be like, am I doing okay? Leave. Didn't she want to talk to me? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I do. I do. I, I actually, I do think she's a monster. Hmm. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge grace. Then you speak truth. Hmm. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. You're so frizzy today. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Um... Zelvor, Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. Did I? I, I did want nothing. you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. I think that's kind of a good idea, to be honest. Like, I feel like... I feel like it's definitely a, a good option to lead them out ourselves. Though I'm not really good at protecting anybody, clearly. Um, Then it seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. Huh? This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Okay. Oh. Alright. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just like, la da Moth covered this day. I don't think I should be stealing their stuff. I think I need to leave. 
I think I'm done being in here. I don't like it in here. Goodbye. Look at the pig. I can't deal with the pig. I wish I could talk to them. Maybe if I, uh, you know, if I play again, I'll choose Druid this time. I did wish I could understand you. Me too. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Hmm. No more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Oh, you're welcome. Our job to get Reward. Arabella is safe. Her parents are grateful for our intervention. I get. Come here, the locket. Grants its wearer the ability to cast dance and light. Cool. Thanks. I don't care what. Can I wear it? Where is it? Can I wear the locket? Where do I have it? Here. Can I wear it? Oh. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's talk to the, the tiefling. These are the tieflings. No. Yes. The red people. The dragony people. I don't know. I have no idea. Where's what's his face? Where's the dude? Oh, let's talk to Will. Hello, Will. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. <gasps> I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Oh. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... Sh the man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. It's happening again. You the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure. Red skin, single curled horn. Blazes with flame. Bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. How come she can do that? <laughs> like, the... They're trying to be like, oh, it's because of the parasite. But like, the other ones who also have the parasite can't do it to each other. Right? So like, Lazel can't get in Shadowheart's head. Right? How come we can get into all these people's minds? Just like... How we found that dying mind flayer on the floor who tried, who got into our minds and tried to make it us love it so we would spare it, right? How come we have that power and nobody else does? Get, get somebody explain or don't because that's probably a spoiler. I don't want to know, but like suspicious. How come we only have that like... <sighs> And how come we don't have any memories from before the ship? And everybody else does. There's a reason, right? <laughs> uh, 
Yes. And we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Who is she? Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Um. Uh, should we say we'll help him? Because... Wasn't she... We're gonna meet her, right? Because she's one of the other origin characters. Right? So she's gonna end up with us. I'm looking for a, a cure for this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm okay. both bound to go after her. Okay. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. He's my new friend. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. Hmm. Do I want him? Do Like, listen, I love Astarian, but do I send him back? No. Meet me at camp. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Okay. Heavy. Okay. I'll see if we can find you a dagger, child. Uh I'm looking for the leader guy. Where is that guy? Him? Roland? My thunder wave will make quick work of any goblin. Just you wait. No, that's not him. Who am I supposed to talk to? Uh yeah. no. How do I exit? Medicare. Oh, yeah. Um. Needed ones. Save the refugees. Return to Zevlor. Zevlor is who I'm looking for. I don't remember their name. Auntie Ethel. Hello, Auntie. How are you? <laughs> he looks like a human. Hello, Auntie. Ah, uh, bitch isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. I, I killed a squirrel, and it's the still affecting me. Out. I've lotions and potions galore. What are you, an alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. What is it? <laughs> and what is this exactly? Oh, it is just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. Do I drink it? <laughs> you just look like you might need a pick me up. I might need a little bit of a I'm hug. Sorry to go on about it. Are you all right? No. You're looking awful peaky. I'm not all right at all. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, 
I've seen it all. Have you? I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. Oh my god. Don't worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. Oh my god. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Are you sure she about that? Sounds positively demented. <laughs> Let's tell her everything. Okay, Astarian, please. What is, What's wrong? what is it, Petal? What's wrong? I don't I don't know if I feel comfortable telling her everything. Uh I could tell her about the parasite in my head. I don't want to tell her about the dark urge though. Like this, I don't wanna say. This I've got a mind flayer parasite in my head. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. Starion approves of me for once. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. A lot of people know I'm about the parasites. A here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. Are you sure? Such as I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Uh, okay. No, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. I guess we could... We could take a look at what she has at her house whenever we get there. <sighs> what harm? Show me your wares. Nay bother. Nay bother. Okay, what's she got? Item received. Potion of greater healing. Okay. She's got enough for money. Fish. Maybe I should take some of her fish. Uh, I could trade her a plate. Uh, I just will see him. Ocean of Invisibility. Coralon's Grace. The wielder is not wearing armor. Main hand only. Oh. Is it poison? Just speed. In pouch. Good enough for me. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Would you? Take care, Petal. Take care, Petal. Take care, Petal. I'm looking for Zevlor. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Something good here. Your face before the trouble. <laughs> You're an idiot. Let's take your stuff. Door. 
what's through here? Where's the velour? Oh, I can level up? Oh, well, everyone can level up. Included chamber. I'm gonna do this real quick. Level up. Paladin level three. Cool. Turn the unholy. Sacred weapon. I want this. I want this. I guess I have it. Shadow Heart Cleric level three. Cool. Who's next? Astarian. Ooh. Gained two cantrip. Huh. You could be a necromancer. Illusion. Acid splash. Friends. Uh, what is this true strike? And that, uh, and poison spray. I don't know. Bells. Charm person seems like something he would have. Banded. Grease. Uh, long strider. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then Lazelle, a fighter level three. Voice is pending. Manu maneuvers? That is a. I've never seen it spelled like that. I've never seen maneuver spelled like that. Powerful attacks that use superiority. Superiority dice. Um. Let's see. This one. Uh, mm, menacing attack and evasive footwork. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Cool. I don't know where we are. Oh, I can't. I can't steal from in there. Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Am I? I don't know where I am. I'm looking for Zevlor. Oh, she's here. Hello. Have you seen Zevlor? Oh, there he is. I didn't steal. Relax, lady. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Look at me standing next to a star and... Beautiful. <laughs> Um, leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task.
Um, kill the goblin horde lead. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Can you pay me? <laughs> See what I can Everyone do. In this camp sorry, Astarian. Thank you. I'm sorry. Be ready to leave as soon as you give word. I'm sorry, Astarian. You hate me. Um, I... When we get to Baldur's Gate, where are we enlisting? I'm done soldiering, Tilly. I'd like a clean start. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> I feel safer already. <laughs> Astarian disapproves of everything I do. <laughs> Is everything I do. He's like the blade of frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. I wish you could take more than three with me. Right? I feel like the I want to take more of them. People have a word for men like the blade of frontiers. Shalak, roughly Shalak. translated, idealist do-gooder, or better yet. Benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Benevolent burden. Okay, let's. Should we go? What no else am I supposed to do here? Short. If Korga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. Time's up. I've been asked to escort you out of here. So, that's not what I'm. That's not what I meant. Ugh, I no. chose the wrong thing. You would send us to our deaths. I'm not going to let it happen. That's not what I meant. Wait, he's trying to fight me now? killed her do i have to can i exit the battle oath broken what <laughs> wait 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 what <laughs> i don't want to do this let me out i didn't mean to not do this I didn't mean to this isn't what I meant to do I don't want to no no dying for me, all of them. I want to run away bye I don't want to have my oath broken. <laughs> what did I do? I'm so upset. I, I just genuinely. Can I go back? Can I go back? <laughs> That's from the very beginning. I have to do it all over again. Oh no. 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 I'm so upset. I guess I have no choice. I have no choice. I'm going to die. Another step forward. Run away. I'm so upset. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. I'm really sorry. Can she heal me? Can she heal me? On the move. Never mind. I guess not. He's coming for me. I'm dead. <laughs> What's happening? 
thing. I'm dead. Hello. What do I do? <laughs> Down. Can I help her? Uh, help. Help. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Sorry and help me. Thanks. Thanks. Talk to me. Can I heal? Take your heal. This is a- this is- This is bad. I'm- I need to run. This is bad. It's bad. Run away! <laughs> run away. Just run away. If the gods are watching me. Run away. Time to strike. <sighs> I didn't mean to do this. Okay, I'm really sorry. I'm Spasm grips sorry. Your, your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, Paladin. Something has been lost. Broken your oath, Paladin. At the close of day. No. I will be waiting for you. We have much to discuss. <laughs> no. I'm so upset. What just happened? I. <sighs> I think I want to go back and redo this. I'm sorry. I need to. I, I, I really hate what just happened. I'm sorry. I gotta. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> so I'm back. Uh, I went and redid it because I really didn't like how that worked out. I don't know what on earth happened and how on earth that happened. But um, basically, for the story I have in my mind for Willow... I do see her breaking her oath eventually, but it is way too soon for it. Like, we've only just begun. I don't think she's going to break her oath right now. So we're back here with Zell, what's his face? And we're going to try to convince him to leave without killing him. So, uh, I saved beforehand this time. <laughs> Um, basically, I did everything the same, except I didn't kill the squirrel. Because that was shocking to me. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk to him. And do it right this time. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Hmm. Leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them. Bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. No, I'm not. <laughs> Last, I was like, kill the Horde's leaders. I'll see what I can do. Let's see what Everyone I can do. In this camp sorry, sorry. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. 
You've word of what? Just Zevlor today. Because we're civilians. Now end the conflict. Okay, so what I I messed up when I talked to him again. <laughs> what I need to do now is do the goblin nonsense. Okay, let's go do that. I'm sorry. I can't. I was so upset. I was so upset. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Now's not the time for it. Okay. Like there there will come a time when we go against we break the oath, but now is is not the time. It's way too early. I think that I have to leave to find the goblin camp. I I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. So Why did I just close that door? Huh? What is this? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Oh. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Um, this goblin is in need of judgment. I should decide her fate. Uh, move in front of it. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you move. <sighs> this won't avenge avenge cannon. It won't change anything. Okay, I'm gonna save because I'm scared. Oh, never mind. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Um... She's not a practice target, she's a person. Um, uh, because vengeance eats people alive, he'll grant the goblins two victories this day. Your soft heart will be the death of us. Shush. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. I just saved your life. Show some gratitude. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and priestess guards still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty booyog. I'm not saying we should trust a goblin. But she sounds very useful. Uh, well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? You're... Mm.
actions have consequences, Saza. Maybe use this time in the cage to reflect. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. Okay. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. I know, but I'm confused. Zevlor sent me. His people won't survive they out there. They may die on the road. They will die if they stay. A clear choice, I would say. I agree, but I don't know how to get them to leave. This right must be born of powerful the magic. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Uh, I'm told there's a healer here. Nettie, yes. She's bumbling about somewhere. But if your treatment is meant to outlast the right, you'll be removed with the rest. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? End the conflict. How do I end the conflict? I'm, I, I don't need to end conflict, okay? Like, seriously. Why am I ending conflict? Why is this any of my business? Why am I standing on Please table? Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. I'm trying to leave. They won't let me. I've been trying to leave this whole time. That mural. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Local history written in riddles. I don't know anything. I'm like stupid. I know nothing. So Willow is just as stupid as I am. The towers seized, the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. The broken helmet bears the mark of Shah, the dark lady. And if the darkest one is Shah, moonrise must be her celestial sister. The loon. The lune? Loon? I don't know. Um, basically, what I'm doing right now is trying to find Nettie. Oh. There. <laughs> I've been searching for her forever and she's been right here the whole time. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about how much I've had to cut out of this you. part. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. Oh. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Do you know anything about Mind Flayers? Why are you asking? No good way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A Mind Flayer tadpole? You know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Okay. We need to be quick. This way. Okay. Head on in. Okay. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Huh? Um... 
I'm hoping for a less grave cure. I do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. Okay. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. I mean, we all have the tadpoles, so... Uh... Thank you. I'll take anything that could help. Of course. No. I liked Tell Nettie. She's help. nice. Any symptoms? Strange events? Yeah, my whole existence is strange. <laughs> I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. See, like this part, I feel like is not normal. Because all these other ones, they have the tadpole in it too, but they can't merge their minds. Um... Okay, all of these are true. I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. In the pod. Um, on a mind flayer ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Sure Look, what? You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. I don't want to transform here. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Hmm. Do I do the paladin option? The Lune is the goddess of the moon and her paladins are soldiers in the constant war against her dark sister, Shar. They use her light to dispel darkness and relieve the pain of others. Uh, I might, I think I'll do it. Like, I, I'm still quite at the very beginning of the story at this point, And I, I do kind of want to stick to, she's kind of deep in the beliefs at the moment. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. I'm you, not actually going to drink the poison. Know, I've spent my life treating folk. And never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Um, you must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet. yet, anyhow. But you think it's a... Uh... You said you were tracking other victims. Did they change? Hard to say. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've Luna. no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Halson is the bear guy, right? <laughs> He's the bear guy, right? <laughs> I know about the bear guy. <laughs> Everybody knows. Uh, what do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. 
None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halton and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I mean, yeah, for sure. But, like, the goblins are connected to the Mind Flayers? Am I missing something? Is Are, are my poor reading comprehension skills coming out, coming to light? Because I'm so confused. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, I'll find him. Thank you. I want him on my team. Everything to the grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saloon. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why then? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Uh... Search for Halson in the goblin camp. Halson's research suggests that the parasite is connected to a goblin camp located in an old temple of Saloon. The adventurers were with Halson when he disappeared. They might know what happened to him. Who are the adventurers? The druid Halson was researching the parasite. He might be one of the few people who understands we need to find him. How do I find him? <laughs> you did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. <laughs> A tragedy prevented. Hmm. I swore an oath to stop terrible deeds like that. Monsters like her. I mean, in fairness, Willow is also a monster. Let's be honest here. Uh. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Um, how did Kaga, Korga, I guess is her name, take over the whole grove? She is first druid in Halsin's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gainsay. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. If no one's looking for Halsin, I could do would it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Uh, no need to fret, I will find Sylvanas's him. Sylvanas' blessing upon you. And my gratitude as well. Oh, can I leave now? Will they Alfred let me leave? An elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. <laughs> the bear. We all know about the bear. Everybody knows about the bear. Okay, I have no idea where I am. At a waypoint, supposedly. Um, trying to find Halson in the Oh, I think I'm outside now. Wait. The entire time I could have just gone to the map and just left. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my marbles. This is fine. Great. Great and fine. <laughs> like, I've been playing for a while. I don't know if I should end this part here. Maybe go to the camp for the night. I don't know. I'll be keeping an eye. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Okay, calm down now. Um, what I'm looking for is the the goblin camp. Because that's where I need to go, at least for now. Uh, I'm going to find Halson and also, like... Sylvanas. 
So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Oh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> This looks like the goblin camp. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Yeah, it's saving, so. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Take all your stuff. What is that? Scroll of mirror image. Create three illusory duplicates of yourself that distract attackers. Each duplicate increases your armor class by three. Huh. So, Gith, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazel Chucky. And my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you. Only if I ask. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm your servant. Taking all your stuff. Open up. Goblins ahead. Looks like they're laying an ambush. Moonhaven. Hiding. Attacking enemies while you are hiding will catch them by surprise. Shift C to hide your whole party. Huh. Remaining obscured. Lightly obscured, heavily obscured, fully visible. Okay. So this looks like the goblin camp. Maybe we could try to... Be sneaky, sneaky. Do you think your kin search for you, Lazel? Shh! I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. Shut up! <laughs> they pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. We're, we're trying to be sneaky. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Shut up! <laughs> okay. We're trying to be stealthy. You're like here now, fully visible. Here, fully visible. Mm. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Lazelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Can can they please just shut up? Oh, and the others Murder. getting okay. drunk off their choppers in camp. I'm fair. Oh, I see. About Baldur's Gate. Shut up. The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different. Hiding failed. Oh. Get over there! Surround them like! You spotted us. Good. It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. Why am I shadow hard? Uh, what? It's happening. Uh, I don't want any and trouble. I didn't want to be stuck mopping up nosy trespassers like you. How was I supposed Ain't to do that? No There's nowhere to go. In their way today. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you. Why am I shadow hard? <laughs> Uh, let me buy and we'll pretend this never happened. Why am I shadow heart? I'm so confused. Uh oh. Okay. Can I go again? I can't. Here's what I'm thinking. We kill you. And I keep your ears to remember the occasion. So she got caught, not me. She 
he got caught. Not me. I'm still sneaking. It's just Shadowheart that got caught. Oh, darn. Never mind. Uh, what do I do? Need to stay focused. What now? What am I supposed to do? What's happening? The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Huh. Okay. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Excuse me, but I'm here? Oh, Jesus. Who are you? My, my. What manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. Huh? What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. Huh? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw, and that love was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? What? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your Who service. Who the heck are you? It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Excuse me? Huh? Pretty words. If you want to threaten me, don't disguise it. Why, I never. You're paranoid, aren't you? Yep. Must be the surroundings. Rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. No. What is this? No, no. Where the... Where am I? Where am I? Middle of somewhere. Take me back now. And deny you the honor of my hospitality. Honor? You're creepy. This is the house of hope. Where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. No. Go on. Partake. Enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. What makes you say that? Call it a ninth sense. Ninth? Ugh. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Hey, you're... Am I a friend? Potentially. He's a... An adversary. Conceivably. Isn't... But a savior... That's for certain. Isn't he Zel Zelvor? Zel Isn't that him? No. They just look the same. <laughs> what makes you think I need saving? Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. Oh, no. I could fix it all. No. Like. That. I don't trust you. You're literally a devil. Hmm. 
You're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? No. Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when no. hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair. That's when you'll come knocking on my door. No. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Take me back. After that, I'll never want to see you again. By all means. Bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Ugh, I don't like him. Bye. What the heck just happened? Uh, you guys saw that, right? What just happened? Uh, now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. He's not. We still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. We're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. <laughs> Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, can we? as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Garbage. Use your shared connection to read her thoughts. Uh, he's a devil. No. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and no. very knowledgeable about our problem. No. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. I can't, sorry. Ah. Oh, darn. It didn't work. I failed. Uh, uh, I can feel you. Get out of my head. Sorry. Do that again and I'll leave you to bleed out in this wilderness. Understand? Sorry. And watch out for Raphael. He's better at getting into people's heads than you are, you ass. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. This devil Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Kithrak? Kithyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. 
I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Why were these knights chasing the mind flayer ship? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackhead's sight pierces the many planes. Oh, okay. Uh, do we keep going? We can't get there, can we? No. Right, I guess we go back. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. What is this? Cast upon my hand. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Fortunate for his tongue, he didn't say it to me. <sighs> we have to find Halson. That's what we're doing right now. Like, where am I supposed to find him? <laughs> oh, where is he? He in bear form? <laughs> That thing is asleep. Breathe deep and move. In here. Nothing. Did I just exit out of the the village? I need to be in here, right? He's somewhere in here. Right? <laughs> What's inside? Here goes nothing. From an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. You're into the well. I don't know. Probably won't be able to because I'm stupid. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Even I'm capable of this. Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. Wait, does this mean I go down? I'm curious. Then not touch the webs. I'd hate to disturb the locals. Hmm. 
What is this? Where am I? Spider silk. No. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. I'm going to come back uh, here another time. Goodbye. I'm going back up. Goodbye. Nope. Nope. I draw the line at spiders. I'm drawing the line in the sand. Goodbye. I'm going to leave this village for now. Go to camp. And finish. I'm going to come back later. To look for Halsen later. Let's move. In the next episode because i've been sitting here forever i think i've been sitting here for four hours uh let's go maybe like hmm. we'll go like right there and i'm just gonna go to camp save and go Okay. Alright, rest. Hi today. Long rest. Uh, go to camp. Let's go to camp. Let's talk Let's to a story. <laughs> of course, we have to. Well, hello. What hello. Can I do for you? Uh, hello. What can? Oh, I can't even talk to him. That's unfortunate. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. Uh, what do you make of Raphael? He brings to mind a story. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero... A villain and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Um refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. I agree. I agree. Don't worry, I have no interest in a devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Mm, I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Okay. Interesting. Uh. Huh. Got a training dummy over here. Dell over there. Let's take a talk to Gale. I haven't talked to him in a long time. <laughs> do you feel as flattered as I do? Fighted to dine with a devil. <laughs> no. No, no. You have a strange definition of flattery. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. 
Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. I'll remind you that when dealing with a devil, you always draw the short straw. There's no such thing as an absolute certainty. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. I'm the foggiest. But, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Mm. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I could try to talk to Shadowheart and apologize to her for uh, trying to go into her mind. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry, girl. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Want to talk about all the tavern times? What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Oh, that's cute. I want to be her bestest friend. What is he? Here. What is this? Magic mirror? What is that? Alright, I'm gonna look at this and then I'm gonna wrap up this part because I've been here forever. <laughs> I do want to keep playing, but it's very late right now. What is this? Oh, I could change how she looks. Interesting. I mean, I'm going to keep her the way she is, but that's cool. So, like, if I wanted to, I could change her hairstyle, you know, every now and then. That would be good. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't think right now I'm going to go to nighttime. Maybe in the next part. At the beginning of the next part, possibly? I don't know. We'll see. Because some stuff might happen at nighttime. I don't know. But I think for now, I am going to wrap up this part here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Even though I am incapable, <laughs> dumb, <laughs> um, you know, it is my first time playing. I don't know what I'm doing. So I apologize if I seem silly. Uh, I know I'm going to have to edit so much of this because I've been here for hours and hours and hours. And a lot of it, I just kind of was wandering around searching for what to do. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm enjoying this game a lot and I am looking forward to playing more. So... Hopefully in the next part we find Halson. We'll see if I can actually find him. And then, yeah. I will see you then. Thank you so much again. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.